so guys here i have my shrimp i cleaned and i pulled the tails off because we're gonna be having blackened shrimp tandoori nan pizza Ooh, it's gonna be so delicious this one is gonna be so good guys so we're gonna be using this little blackened seasoning right here i'm gonna put it on my shrimp if you don't have this blackened seasoning you could get old bay it works just as well and i'm gonna toss this like so i'm gonna use roughly i would say two to three teaspoons and you use it accordingly and then you toss it just to see if that's enough if it's not i'm gonna also put some sweet paprika on here just for a nice bit of extra flavor and i'm gonna also put some smoked paprika because guys everything is better with smoked paprika i'm gonna leave this to marinate for 30 minutes or so and then i'll be right back to start our rustic tandoori nan pizza with okay so here i have some shallots some red onions some sweet peppers red bell pepper orange bell pepper i'm gonna saute these in some olive oil some thyme and basil and i'll be right back to top our pizza so here i have my frying pan my saute pan i'm gonna put about Two teaspoons of oil in here and I'm just gonna add my shrimp that I had my shrimp that I had I went ahead and I added if you can see a lemon zest and some garlic and herb seasoning to this I'm gonna mix it around and then I'm just going to drop it in my pan and I'm going to let it cook for about three to four minutes because it has to go in the oven and bake on the pizza. So I don't want it to be overly cooked and then I'll be right back. Ooh, look at that guys. Yes, God. And then we're just going to let that saute and cook for about five minutes like i said and then after that we'll be back to finish our pizza and then after i do this i'm just gonna saute my vegetables in this same pan just because it's gonna be shrimp and i want the veggies to get that okay so after five minutes i pretty much finished my look at this guys oh my god i already have another recipe in my head for this <laughs> which is crazy <laughs> but this is what happens when you're like a complete foodie yeah recipes just pop in and out of your head so i finished my shrimp and now i'm just gonna put it in a bowl to sit and then i'm come, gonna come back and do my veggies so here i have my pot that i took my shrimp out of i'm just gonna add just about a half teaspoon of olive oil to this and i'm also gonna add just about a teaspoon of white wine vinegar two teaspoons actually just to deglaze the pan like that and just be careful guys with the the white wine because you don't want it to spark and catch fire with the oil so i'm just gonna add my onion and my shallot and my peppers in here and then i'm just gonna toss it in some a little bit of parsley dry parsley if you have fresh feel free i added like a teaspoon of parsley to it and i'm also going to add just a little bit of citrusy garlic. I have this brand from Trader Joe's. 
you could get you could get this anywhere and after we do that we're just gonna saute it and let it come together we're gonna cover this on low and just let it do its thing and then we'll be back so after about 10 minutes of covered saute this is the reduction for my veggies i don't need it to be softer in this because again you like to still have a little crunch when you bite on your pizza you know and it still has to cook so this is it guys and now we're gonna go top our pizza i am making a rustic tandoori nan flatbread pizza it's really good it's like for those people who don't like to mess with flour like me of course because i hate it so you'll never see me making a pizza dough from scratch on here sorry guys but you come to the wrong place but if you want flavor and good food you're at the right place so now that i did that i'm gonna turn this off and i'm gonna go ahead and get our pizza started it's gonna be okay so, so here i went ahead and i put some tomato sauce on my four nan these two are garden veggie and these two are spicy tomato tuscan tomato there's this one that i use for these two and then there is the garden combo for these two that i use and i got this garden combo from target and the other one i also got from walmart you could use whichever you like and that is your preference but these are for myself and the kids so this is what i'm choosing to use i'll be back. so for my cheese i got this pizza blend it's low fat part skin milk mozzarella on smoked provolone and asiago fresh cheddar so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna Put it on my my nan bread, aka my pizza. And this is about a third of a cup on each one. You could do whatever flavor cheese you like. I wanted a fontina, but I couldn't find any. So I opted for this. We're gonna just go ahead and Make it really cheesy and delicious. And just about the same for this one. And it's fine if you got your cheese all over the board. It's totally okay. It's not the end of the world. You be all right. I'm going to come back and I'm going to finish it because I ran out of cheese, of course. So I'm gonna come back and finish it and then I'll show you the end result. All right, guys. So I topped all my pizza. The kids zone, they just wanted shrimp. And for the adults, we wanted veggies and shrimp. And guys, this right here, I am gonna top some truffle or a black truffle, guys. Oh my God. This is gonna be bomb. I mean, you know what I say, and I say what I mean. The food don't only look good over here, but it tastes good. This truffle oil is gonna kick it up 10 notches. We don't waste it though, cause this stuff is expensive. <laughs> if you don't have truffle oil, you know you can use some balsamic glaze. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead, pop this in the oven for about three minutes at 400 degrees and i will be back with you to show you the end result matter of fact i'm feeling so generous i'm about to top it off with some more cheese look at that Ooh. honey it's about to be lit up in here spice crave cuisine we don't play we are good with our food boo okay come on so I'll be back guys and I'm gonna show y'all my finished result of my Nan Tandoori Shrimp Pizza. Sweet baby Jesus, look at this pizza guys.
I mean, come on, come on. This right here is deliciousness on a plate 10.0. Guys, I mean, I can't even say it better myself. This is utter perfection. Hello, come on somebody, come on. I love it, I love it. Guys, oh my God. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more delicious bites. And guys, please do me a favor. No, better yet, do yourself a favor and try this. It's gonna be delicious. Okay guys, of course you guys know I am gonna try my pizza. So I'm gonna take a bite for you guys. Ugh, I can't get it all up. Mm. Guys, this is amazing stuff. For more delicious bites and meals, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.